hello everyone welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to discuss a very important concept in network analysis called short circuit now in this video we are going to learn how to find the total resistance of a short circuit now if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel because your subscription means a lot to us also in this video we are going to solve a lot of examples so that at the end of the video you will be able to find the total resistance of a circuit with one or more resistors being short circuited now to begin with let's consider this circuit now for this circuit we have a voltage source connected across a resistor CR and then we also have a thin wire connected across the resistor now what is the current distribution for this circuit and what is the total resistance for this circuit first of all let's talk about how current is distributed in this circuit now the voltage source V drives current CI throughout the circuit now in this video we are going to consider the conventional flow of current that is to say that we are going to consider current to flow out of the positive terminal of the voltage source throughout the circuit and then returning through the negative terminal of the voltage source so the current i is going to flow out of the positive terminal of the voltage source in this direction to this node or to this point now at this point ideally the current is supposed to divide so that we have part of the current say i1 flowing in this direction and then say i2 also flowing in that direction however that is not the case for this circuit now because the thin wire connected across the resistor has a very low or no electrical resistance it means that almost all the current will flow in this direction with little or no current flowing through this direction or flowing through the resistor R now when this happens we say that R has been short circuited now another way to identify whether a resistor has been short circuited or not is when you consider the loop where you can find the resistor now considering this loop we can go through this loop without passing through any other circuit element except the resistor R now if that happens it means that the resistor R has been short circuited so there are two ways in analyzing this you can either use the current distribution method or you can use the loop approach now don't forget that for the current distribution approach you have very little or no current flowing through that resistor because almost all the current will like to flow through the least resistant part that is the thin wire now for the loop method or the loop approach when you go through a loop without passing through any other circuit element except the resistor then that resistor has been short circuited now if that happens this circuit can be reduced to have the voltage source that is vein directly connected to itself by the thin wire since the thin wire has no or zero electrical resistance it means that a very high amount of current approaching infinity is going to flow through the circuit now this high current flowing through the wire may heat up the wire causing explosion or fire outbreak now this clearly tells us that short circuit is generally not desired now having this in mind let's solve some examples let's try to find the total resistance of a circuit with one or more resistors being short circuited okay so now let's solve our first example now in the first example we are to find the total resistance RAB of the circuit below now RAB is the total resistance seen between the terminals A and B now we are going to find the total resistance for this particular circuit previously we spoke about two approaches in determining whether a resistor has been short circuited or not we spoke about the loop approach and the current distribution approach now for us to clearly see that a resistor has been short circuited 
let's consider using the loop approach now we are going to consider the 15 ohms resistor let's focus on this loop you realize that we can go through this loop without passing through any circuit element except the 15 ohms resistor now this means that the 15 ohm resistor has been short circuited now let's focus on the 5 ohms resistor when we go through this loop you realize that we don't find any circuit element except the 5 ohms resistor so clearly the 5 ohms resistor has also been short circuited so this means that both the 5 ohms resistor and the 15 ohms resistor have been short circuited now if you want to use the current distribution approach let's consider a voltage source here now this voltage source is going to drive current through the circuit now the current is going to flow in this direction through the 10 ohms resistor to this point now instead of dividing the current is going to flow through this direction ignoring the 5 ohms resistor and the 15 ohms resistor now the reason being that the current sees that there is a high resistance part here and there is also a high resistance part here now because the current has the option of flowing through the low resistance part it will choose to flow through this part ignoring the 5 ohms resistor and the 15 ohms resistor so clearly the current is not going to flow through the 5 ohms resistor neither is it going to flow through the 15 ohms resistor so the two resistors have been short circuited now in that case this circuit can be reduced to have we have the terminals A and B so we are going to have the 10 ohms resistor here connected in series with the 30 ohms resistor now to find the total resistance for this circuit because the two resistors are connected in series we are basically going to sum them up so we have RAB is equal to 10 plus 30 and that is equal to 40 ohms so the total resistance for this circuit is equal to 40 ohms now let's solve the second example so now let's solve the second question now for question 2 we are to find the total resistance RAB of the circuits below now we have 4 resistors we have the 5 ohms resistor we have 15 ohms resistor we have 10 ohms resistor and then the 20 ohms resistor now let's consider the loop approach now clearly we see that the 20 ohms resistor is short circuited because we can go through this loop without passing through any circuit element except the 20 ohms resistor now let's focus on the 10 ohms resistor we also notice that you can go through this whole loop without passing through any other circuit element except the 10 ohms resistor meaning that this 10 ohms resistor has also been short circuited so we are going to deal with these two resistors now let's redraw the circuit so we have both terminals A and B and then we have the 5 ohms resistor in parallel with the 15 ohms resistor now don't forget that when you go through a loop without passing through any other circuit element except two resistors then those two resistors are connected in parallel so here the 5 and the 15 are connected in parallel so now let's find the total resistance RAB since the two resistors are connected in parallel now to find their total resistance is going to be R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 let R1 be 5 and then R2 be 15 ohms so we have 5 times 15 
divided by 5 plus 15. Now 5 times 15 is 75 and then 5 plus 15 is 20 and then 75 divided by 20 is equal to 3.75 so we have RAB to be equal to 3.75 ohms so that is the total resistance for this circuit let's solve the last example so for the last example we are going to find the total resistance seen between the terminal A and B. Now we have four resistors. We have the two ohms resistor, we have three ohms resistor, and then two five ohms resistors. Now we are going to find the total resistance RAB. Now let's focus on these three resistors. Now this five ohm resistor is in parallel with this 5 ohm resistor and then the combination is in series with this 3 ohm resistor so let's find the equivalent resistance for these three resistors so let's represent their equivalent resistance as RE so we have RE equals 5 parallel 5 and then in series with a 3 so plus 3 now this is going to be 5 times 5 divided by 5 plus 5 and then we have plus 3. Now this whole thing is 2.5 so we have 2.5 plus 3 and that is equal to 5.5 ohms so we have RE to be 5.5 ohms. Now let's redraw the circuit. So we are going to have the two ohms resistor and then here we have RE which is 5.5 ohms. And then this wire was connected to this node however we can extend this node here and then we can connect the wire here so it's basically the same thing we've just extended the node so let's try to find a total resistance for this circuit do you notice that the 5.5 ohms resistor has been short circuited Yes, because when you go through this loop, you don't find any circuit element except this resistor. So this resistor has been short circuited. So clearly, the final circuit is going to look like this. We are going to have only the two ohms resistor in the circuit. So the total resistance, that is RAB, seen between the terminal is equal to 2 ohms. So that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something very important. If you did, do well to subscribe to this channel and hope to meet you in another video. Bye bye.